If you're looking for a camp stove, stick with us for today's episode of The Northwood. Alright, so we picked up this new multi-fuel cooktop for these nights that we are just traveling through, not spending the night. There's no sense setting up the Blackstone, so we pack it up, we go ahead and we put it this way. Uh, it's got the nice case we showed. We go ahead and we flip this over. This is our burner right here. So we got a nice little burner here in the middle. And over here, we open it up. Now this will take both butane or propane. And we have our propane adapter hose right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. That propane adapter is going to go right here where the butane cylinder would go. Feed our hose through here. There we go. We got our hose on there now. We go ahead and we close him up, and we can attach our propane tank. But before we do, I ask you to take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and set the bell to all, so you get notified of more RV travel tips, tricks, and everything else RV. We'll go ahead and we'll spin him on to our hose. Okay, and this just has a preset regulator, it's not an adjustable one or anything, so there's nothing to do there. We go ahead, we set him back, and out of the way. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this right here. We have a fuel lock, unlock. Uh, so we're pushing it up, should let the fuel in. And we'll go ahead. And our burner lit right up, first try right here. And we'll go ahead and throw on our cast iron. Cast iron spray. So Lori cooks up this pulled pork ahead of time in the Instapot for travel days. It makes cooking after driving all day pretty quick and easy. We just need to warm up the pork, add in some sweet baby raised barbecue, and a little extra brown sugar, and it's ready for a bun. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the amount of heat this little stove produced, as it was plenty for my 10 inch cast iron skillet and it'll easily do anything that we're going to ask of it. I also like the build quality of the stove. The temperature control was smooth and had a good range of adjustment. So if you happen to be in the market for a little stove top like this, I would highly recommend this unit. I'll drop links down below where you can find this exact model stove as well as other items in today's video. Don't forget to like this video if you found any of this helpful and until next time, if we don't see you on the road, we'll see you in the next video.